Imagine endless ribbons of green rolling across sunlit valleys, each vine heavy with glossy clusters that will become juice, wine, or raisins. But behind every perfect bunch lies a hidden world of science and skill. Sensors that read the soil, drones that spot the first signs of stress, machines that harvest by moonlight, and laboratories where grapes are transformed into flavor. Today, we follow the grape's journey from vine to bottle, uncovering the quiet technologies and patient craft that turn a fragile fruit into culinary magic. Step 1. Choosing the land and preparing the soil. The story begins long before a vine is planted. Location shapes everything. Slopes that drain excess water, soils that are light and mineral rich, and microclimates that give a grape its character. Growers test the earth for texture, pH, and nutrients, and they plan rows to capture the best sunlight and airflow. Modern vineyards increasingly rely on soil sensors that feed real-time data to the team on the ground. Those sensors reveal moisture levels, temperature, and nutrient availability, allowing irrigation and fertilization to be applied with surgical precision. In this stage, careful decisions about rootstocks and vine density are made so the plants will have the best chance to produce concentrated, flavorful fruit. Step 2. Monitoring climate and protecting the vines. Weather shapes a vintage. To anticipate its moods, vineyards use weather stations positioned throughout their blocks. These instruments measure temperature, humidity, wind speed, and rainfall, and the data is analyzed to predict threats like late frost, heat spikes, or disease-favoring conditions. When frost threatens a vulnerable bud, growers can deploy wind machines or overhead sprinklers to raise temperatures just enough to protect the crops. During heat stress, shade management, and targeted irrigation help the vines maintain balance. This careful choreography of of preventative measures reduces risk and keeps the vines on a steady path toward ripeness. Step 3. Precision Irrigation and Vine Care Water management is a defining feature of modern viticulture. Drip irrigation systems, often controlled by automated valves and guided by sensor feedback, deliver water only where and when it is needed. This conserves resources and encourages deeper root systems that improve resilience and flavor concentration. Pruning, canopy management, and shoe thinning are scheduled to balance leaf area and fruit exposure. These hands-on practices remain artful. The way a vine is trimmed influences airflow, sunlight penetration, and the evenness of ripening. Smart irrigation complements manual care, helping each vine express its fullest potential. Step 4. Aerial Monitoring and Early Detection Drones have become indispensable eyes above the rows. Equipped with multi-spectral and thermal cameras, they capture images beyond the visible spectrum, revealing water stress, nutrient deficiencies, and early disease symptoms that human scouts might miss. Growers fly these drones on a schedule or after storms, then analyze the imagery to map problem areas precisely. Armed with that intelligence, teams can treat only the affected vines with targeted sprays or adjustments. This combination of aerial reconnaissance and rapid response makes the vineyard more efficient and environmentally friendlier. Step 5. Timing the harvest. Harvest is a moment of truth. Deciding when to pick is a blend of chemistry and taste. Sugar levels, measured as bricks, acidity, pH, and flavor development are all considered. Winemakers and vineyard managers taste fruit in the field, collect lab samples, and correlate data with weather forecasts to choose the optimal harvest window. Some styles demand earlier picks for higher acidity and freshness. Others require more hang time for sugar concentration and complex aromatics. The timing determines not only the balance of the final product, but also how the grapes will handle the rigors of picking in transport. Step 6. Hand harvesting versus mechanized picking. How grapes are harvested depends on variety, terrain, and the intended product. For delicate varietals or steep slopes, hand picking remains the preferred choice. Teams move through the rows with baskets and crates, selecting clusters with care to avoid bruising. In flatter, large-scale operations, mechanized harvesters offer speed and consistency. These machines straddle the vine rows and use gentle shaking or pulsing to detach clusters, which then fall onto conveyors and into collection bins. Modern harvesters are tuned to minimize damage and often operate at night to keep grapes cool, preserving their freshness until they reach the next stage. Step 7. Rapid transport to preserve quality. Once grapes are cut free, time becomes the enemy. Propped transport to the processing facility prevents oxidation and unwanted fermentation. Trucks are loaded with care and, when possible, cooled to slow metabolic activity in the fruit. The goal is simple. Deliver whole, unspoiled clusters so the next steps can begin under controlled conditions. Efficient logistics, clear communication, and a sense of urgency are what keep the freshly picked grapes in the best possible state for transformation. 
Step 8. The Sorting House. Cleaning, destemming, and sorting. At the processing facility, grapes pass through an orchestrated series of machines and human hands. Stems are gently removed to avoid adding green, bitter flavors. Crushers break skins just enough to release juice while avoiding crushing seeds, which can impart tannic bitterness. Sorting tables combine automated optical sorters and trained workers to inspect every cluster. Cameras and sensors identify defects, discoloration, or unripe fruit and redirect them away from the main line. This blend of technology and human judgment ensures that only top quality grapes move forward, whether the destination is fermentation tanks, juice presses, or drying racks for raisins. Step 9. The Transformation fermentation, pressing, and drying. The way grapes are transformed depends on the final product. For wine, sorted grapes are moved into fermentation tanks and inoculated with yeast. Temperature control is essential because the heat of fermentation shapes flavor and aroma development. Red wines often ferment at higher temperatures to extract color and structure, while whites are kept cooler to preserve delicate aromatics. After primary fermentation, wines may be transferred to oak barrels or stainless steel tanks for aging, each vessel contributing different textures and flavors. For juice, grapes are pressed, pasteurized, and clarified before being filtered and bottled. The process focuses on preserving natural flavors and shelf stability. For raisins, grapes are dried under the sun or in specialized dehydrators with careful control of humidity and temperature to produce sweet, evenly dried fruit. Across all these paths, automated systems monitor pressure, temperature, and other critical parameters, and winemakers or juice specialists make craft decisions that define the final product's personality. Step 10. Quality control and packaging. Before wines and juices leave the facility, rigorous quality control checks ensure safety and consistency. Labs analyze chemical composition, microbial stability, and flavor profiles. Tasting panels evaluate sensory attributes and identify any corrective steps. Once approved, products are stabilized, filtered as needed, and packaged. Bottling lines, often automated, fill, cork, or cap and label at high speeds, all while maintaining hygiene standards to protect product integrity. For export markets, additional testing and documentation may be required to meet regulatory standards. Step 11. Sustainability and innovation for the future. The grape industry is evolving toward greater sustainability. Practices like cover cropping, crop rotation, and reduced tillage protect soil health. Precision agriculture minimizes inputs and conserves water. Biotechnological advances are helping develop varieties with improved resilience to drought and disease. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are being applied to predict yields, detect subtle disease patterns, and optimize harvest timing. These innovations aim not only to increase efficiency and quality, but also to reduce environmental impact and secure the future of vineyards in a changing climate. Closing, the tail and every glass. From the choice of site to the final cork, the journey of a grape is a quiet testament to care, curiosity, and technology working in harmony. Each bottle of wine, every glass of juice, and every pack of raisins carries the imprint of countless decisions, scientific, practical, and artistic. Next time you raise a glass or taste a sun-softened raisin, remember the invisible network of sensors, the hum of drones, the steady hands in the fields, and the skilled craft in the cellar that together turned a tiny cluster into something unforgettable.